Hi everybody and welcome to Los Serranos. I'm playing the south course from the Jack's Black's Tee. 7,600 yards of golf course here. That's a lot in front of me, but uh, here we go. Yeah, I did split the bunkers there and uh, even with the hill on the right being OB, I decided, let's go for it. Oh yeah. Ah. Just a touch back, that's probably a little short. Just a little fat there, but uh, left myself a nice, easy wedge shot here. Fifteen feet up the hill for Birdie here. Burn the edge. Nice easy par to start the day. Can't really complain about that. And uh, we got a little dog leg to the left. Back to back par fives to start this course. Pushed that one out a little bit to the right and uh, had a little side hill lie. Uh, I'm up here on the side of the next green, but. Uh... <laughs> Left myself a very comfortable sandwich once again. down right next to the hole. Another one, another one for birdie. It doesn't go right, Brett. Come on. Man. This course is on the side of a hill. And uh, you got to remember, up mountain versus down valley. Hole three here. And um, there's a big, severe uphill slope in the fairway. I like to hit my two iron here to leave myself right at the bottom of the slope. Nice flat lie generally. And uh, you know, about 140 to 150 yards. Uh, up the hill, I'm gonna add a club with a nine iron here. Oh, Yankee Doodle. But sometimes when you take a little bit more stick and you just kinda hit it left. That was a little too hot there. A little too hot, but it's okay. Oh, almost salvaged that one there. But first bogey of the day, drop it to one over par. Nice straightaway par four, dips down and then back up to the green. It's okay, it wasn't too far right, but stuck here behind this tree. Uh, took a couple extra clubs with the seven iron, choked down, trying to hit a little punchy one. Oh, oh, and it kicks up. That's the beauty of using the seven iron. Man, it landed on the hill in front of the green, kicked up onto the blind green. I get up there, I got eight feet for birdie. Finally got one to fall, right back to even par with that birdie. The fifth hole here has a, a tee box for the blacks way up and above, making it pretty much a dog leg from the black tees. Sometimes though, I tend to go right through the dog leg, kind of bite off more than I think I can sometimes, and uh, leave myself a very awkward side hill lie here. He's
Sit on it. Oh, Jesus. I got a big jumper there. It went about 25 yards long, and uh, just wanted to chip it close. But it just kept rolling and rolling, 25 feet for par. Let me in. That one I got. Validated the birdie on the last hole with the par. Oh, Keep the score right at level. On to the first par three of the day. 175 yards up the hill. Take an extra club with the seven iron. And, and really didn't commit to that. Hit it a little thin, a little right. And uh, was very, very lucky once again to not be in the bunker. And had a fluffy little lie right here, but not very much green to work with. Took my lob wedge out, thought about Phil Mickels in here, sends it up to the sky. <laughs> Almost got it to drop. Easy tap in par. Hole 7 here is called Tower. We're right up on top of the hill on the back of the property. That is Mount Baldy in the background. And I tended to hit this one a little bit left. Fairway sits canted down below us. Very awkward tee shot here. It doesn't go in that bunker and that's exactly where it went. I thought I had, again, taken enough club to avoid the bunker, but right in the middle of it. I hit that nine iron well. Finally put one on the green. Had another look for birdie. The greens here at Serrano's are rolling very pure, very smooth. And uh, kind of misjudged how far that one would go. Uh, my playing partner here was trying to take a gimme based on his, his club, but I was like, you know what, it's all right. Put it out. Here, I made mine. Make yours. And he did. 600 yard par five here. Give it all he got. Really trying to work on my high draw to get a little extra distance. And uh, that one worked. Went a little too far left. So it was in, in the middle of the trees over here, but nothing to worry about. Awkward distance, decided to lay up. So here we are again, sandwich distance. Let's knock this one close. Why? Why? Shit! Uh, you see the side hill I had to deal with there, and it just pushed it right. Should have read that. Aimed a little further left. It's all right. Get it up and down. Too much is an understatement. I think I left myself about 25 or 30 feet here for par. And um, when you face these all day, it's just, it's tough to continue to try to make them. Yeah, it's just the story of the day, just burning those edges, burning those edges. But hey, it's another short one. Just step up and hit it, especially if you see the line. Oh, just snaked it in. Nine's a long par three. Little bit uphill. Oh, be as good as you look. I might not win no money, but I'll take it. Wasn't the closest of the hole out of the group, but... It's all right. Had another look for birdie here. Let's take it back level. Go. Oh, man. All right. Another tap in par. Very comfortable front nine here um, at Los Serrano South Course uh, from Jack's Black Seas 
hey, a one over par front nine really sets me up for the long, long back nine. The Black Tees are on average 50 yards longer than the Blues on the back nine alone per hole. And uh, that's going to be quite a challenge coming up. Thanks again. And please subscribe and comment below. Leave that thumbs up if you like this video as well. See you all next time.